after sparking speculation of a relationship social media users just want to know are Johnny Depp and Jenna Ortega dating? Thankfully, we can finally put these rumors to rest. The 60-year-old Pirates of Caribbean stars representative issued a statement about his relationship or lack thereof with the 20-year-old Wednesday actress. Mr. Depp has no personal or professional relationship with Mrs. Ortega whatsoever. His representative shared with the Daily Mail on September 2nd. He has never met her or spoken to her. He is not involved in any project with her, nor does he intend to be. Depp's spokesperson went on to add, he is appalled by these baseless and malicious rumors that are intended to harm his reputation and career. The publication also claimed that Ortega addressed the ridiculous rumors on her social media account. I can't even laugh, the Scream star reportedly wrote in a since-deleted post shared to her Instagram story. Speculation about whether or not Johnny Depp and Jenna Ortega are dating began circulating after gossip blog Demois reportedly received an anonymous tip claiming that the pair had been spotted together and were possibly working on the sequel to Beetlejuice, which is set to premiere in fall 2024. According to the Daily Mail, the rumors first started in June 2022 when Depp was temporarily listed as a cast member in Beetlejuice 2 on Google search results. Depp, however, no longer appears on the cast list. Winona Ryder is set to reprise her role of Lydia Dietz in the movie, while Jenna will portray her daughter. Michael Keaton will play the title role of Beetlejuice once again. Beetlejuice's wife will be played by Monica Bellucci, who confirmed she was dating the film director Tim Burton in 2023. Other stars such as Felipe Cates and Justin Theroux are expected to appear in the forthcoming film, with Ryder, Ortega and Cates having all been spotted on set in the UK filming wedding scenes according to US Weekly. Production for the film began in May 2023. Speculation about Depp and Ortega's rumored relationship came shortly after his defamation trial with ex-wife Amber Heard ended in early June 2022. The jury found Heard liable of all three counts of defamation in Depp's lawsuit brought against her over her allegation of domestic abuse from a Washington Post op-ed she wrote in 2018. Heard was ordered to pay Depp $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages for a total of $15 million award in damages from the Aquaman actress. Following his defamation trial with her, the Edward Scissorhands star made headlines for his rumored romance with Joel Rich, the London-based attorney who represented him in a separate label case against the British publication The Sun in 2020. According to an insider who spoke to US Weekly in September 2022, Rich was married when she and Depp first started dating but was in the process of divorcing her husband. Their chemistry is off the charts, the source told the publication of the Fantastic Beast actor. It's serious between them, they are the real deal. The high-level attorney reportedly appeared in court during his case against his ex herd there was no professional obligation for her being there, it was personal. The source told US Weekly at the time, adding that the pair would discreetly meet up in hotels during the early days of their relationship. However, the pair had officially called it quits by October 2022, and while it's unclear who if anyone that is involved with these days, it's clear that it's not Jenna Ortega. Which women were in his life before Amber and Joel? In next few minutes, you will find out. Depp married his first wife, makeup artist Laurie Ann Allison, in 1983, at just 20 years old. Allison, who is six years his senior, met the future star through her brother, who played in a band called Kids with Depp. According to Rolling Stone, many credit Allison for jump-starting Depp's career as she introduced the budding star to Nicolas Cage, who in turn introduced him to his own agent who took on Depp and secured him an audition for A Nightmare on Elm Street, his first on-screen role in 1984. The pair split in 1985 but remain on good terms with Allison telling TMZ in 2016 that Depp is a soft person who never hit or yelled at her despite accusation from Heard. Depp met his next partner, actress Sherilyn Fenn, while shooting a 1985 short film called Dummies. 
The couple went on to date for three years, collaborating again in 1987 on an episode of 21 Jump Street, according to Brides.com. They were even engaged. While the pair split the following year, like Allison, Fan has had nothing but great things to say about her ex in the year since. He was very sweet. He was my first love. She told the big issue in 2017. I had found real love. It was with someone who was walking the same path. But even if he wasn't, the love and the connection was strong enough. Cooking meals, hanging out, laughing and crying. So it is more about that than the fact he is the well-known person now. I know him as a human, not a movie star. Dirty Dancing actress Jennifer Grey began dating the star in 1989 with Grey claiming in her 2022 memoir Out of the Corner that he proposed to her within two weeks of them meeting through her agent at the time. During a May 2022 visit to the Drew Barrymore show, Grey also revealed that she was engaged to the actor as well as a Matthew Broderick within the same month. While she described Depp as a ridiculously beautiful and surprisingly open, funny, quirky and sweet. On their first date, she added that he later developed anger and jealousy issues, leading her to call off the engagement after only nine months together. Depp fell for his next love, Winona Ryder. After spotting her at the premiere of Ryder's 1989 film, Great Balls of Fire, it was a classic glance like the zoom lenses in West Side Story and everything else get foggy. I knew then, Depp told Rolling Stone in 1991. They would eventually meet months later through a mutual friend and go on to co-star in the 1990 film Edward Scissorhands. During their high-profile courtship, Depp got his now famous Winona Forever tattoo on his bicep. While the couple broke up in 1993, leading Depp to alter his tattoo to read Wine of Forever, Ryder still speak fondly of their time together and even testified on his behalf during his UK libel trial against The Sun, which he ultimately lost. Depp's tryst with actress Ellen Barkin began in 1994 while she was separated from her then-husband, Irish actor Gabriel Byrne. They dated briefly in the public eye before a thing fizzled only to start up a non-exclusive relationship in 1998 while filming Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas together. According to Depp, Barkin still holds a grudge because he never wanted to make things official between them, as she testified against him in his UK trial, claiming he once threw a wine bottle at her. A sexual element began with Mrs. Barkin which lasted for months on and off really because she was making the film I was making at the time. Depp said, adding that she wanted a proper relationship with me and I did not want that. Depp and model Kate Moss began dating in late 1994 after meeting through Vanity Fair celebrity writer George Wayne. The pairing would turn out to be a tumultuous one as Depp was arrested that year for causing almost $10,000 worth of damage to a hotel room with Moss founding sitting amid the wreckage by police. Despite the intense evening, the couple lasted until 1998. Moss has since shared how tough the split was for her, saying it led to years of crying over the City of Lies actor. Depp began dating his next long-term love, Vanessa Parody, in 1998 following his split from Moss and brief romance with Barkin. French singer Parody met Depp while he shot Roman Polanski film The Ninth Gate in Paris and went on to date for 14 years. The couple welcomed daughter Lily Rose in 1999 and son Jack in 2002. The couple called it quits in 2012. With Depp telling Rolling Stone of their breakup, it wasn't easy on parody, it wasn't easy on me, it wasn't easy on the kids, it doesn't stop the fact that you care for that person and they are the mother of your kids and you always know each other and you are always gonna be in each other lives because of those kids.